Hello one and all, thank you for joining me. In this one I'll be showing you what I speculate to be a huge megalithic block I found on Mars. My name is Jean, thanks for tuning into the channel. This is the high rise photograph we'll be analyzing. The acquisition date 11 July 2011 at 25 centimeters per pixel and the JP2 is really a nice high definition high resolution image almost uh, one gigabyte in size this is the area in the center of the screen that will be concentrating on and it looks like this could have been some type of wall uh, separating this side from this side in the ancient past and the block I found is located right there so that's it there guys um, you'll see a lot more of these uh, megalithic type blocks that have come uh, dislodged from the wall and that is the block close up it's about uh, I'd say about 8 meters wide and it's uh, partially buried in sand and uh, this is that area zoomed out a bit that block towards the top center and uh, you'll see a lot more of these uh, similar type looking blocks uh, that reminds me of another retaining wall or possible retaining wall I found on Asimov this is the, uh, the high-rise photograph and uh, the area we'll be looking at is right there also seems to have separated that side from this side and uh, here it is up close more of these uh, megalithic type blocks seem to have come dislodged and roll down the sides uh, there's one of those blocks close up about uh, 12 or 15 meters across and then uh, this one over here about uh, 22 meters high I'll include the link to this uh, blog post and video in the description below as well guys so uh, let's quickly check it out in Google Earth the first block I showed you is located here and uh, let's just switch on the high rise there we go it's in that uh, high rise photograph there So it's on the about the 29, 28 degree north latitude line, and then uh, those Asimov blocks I showed you are located down here in this high-rise photograph there. So let's quickly check how much distance separates these so that's about 5700 kilometers between those two areas okay I think that's about it thanks for watching this one give me a day or two to add the information to my blog and I'll include the link to that post in the description below and uh, also I plan to do uh, a full feature on those uh, first anomalies I showed you a lot more to show you in that photograph so thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next episode